Hi everybody, welcome to the next episode. Today we will be talking about the various different kinds of wardrobes uh, that we guys make and how to go about it. The basic things that we are going to cover are the basic design styles uh, for a wardrobe as well as uh, the shutter types that can be used along with the materials which are which go into making a wardrobe and the hardware part of it. So first we are going to uh, go ahead with is the design types. So the design types are uh, basically a uh, straight line, then we have an L shaped and a U shaped. So in the straight line one, this is the most commonly used design because generally people have a small portion of a straight wall in which you need to uh, have a wardrobe. Most of the times the builders provide you with a niche uh, which is also in a straight line and you can have a wardrobe over there. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, generally, we will have one complete wall or wardrobe, uh, one complete wall, straight wall in which you can have a wardrobe. The only, the only main thing about this design is that it's, a, it's in straight line. The second design style is an L-shaped one in which uh, you basically have a corner that is coming into the wardrobe style. So you'll have two walls coming together at a right angle. In India, most of the time, uh, you know, the right angle is not that exactly at 90 degrees, so that becomes a problem sometimes provides you a bit more storage for the wardrobe. It also provides a bit more creativity, but it, it's not exactly something that is desirable. Places where uh, they have less amount of space and uh, they, have, they have figured out that, you know, they need more space and now they are using one wall and some part of the other wall as well. The third design type is the U-shaped one. Now, this is, a, this is a design type in which you need, you basically use three walls. And over here, as you can imagine, if you're using three walls, generally this kind of wardrobe is very big. And this is generally used for an open or a walk-in wardrobe that you actually have a small room uh, in which you know you have all your luxury wardrobes and accessories uh, very well organized in a, in a beautiful walk-in wardrobe. And uh, this is where the U-shaped design of a wardrobe generally comes into play. Uh, it can it can still come into play uh, for a smaller uh, area as well, but uh, most of the time this is where uh, it comes into play, and obviously this is the one which provides uh, a bit more storage uh, or a maximum amount of storage as well. So if you're a person who who has like a lot of uh, expensive wardrobes and accessories, it generally it would be nice if you can coordinate with the architect to actually provide a bit more space for that area. And this is basic to uh, wardrobe design uh, design styles you can say. And uh, moving on, we're going to go to the shutter styles. Over here, we're going to discuss the various types of shutters that you can have, the outdoor finishes that you can have. We've done a lot of videos on it. Uh, you can uh, we leave a link. You can go over there and watch that as well. I'm just going to briefly go over them in this one. So you can have a, a plain straight line shutters, which are basically laminates. You can have it in paints, veneers. Uh, you can have good designs in it. Now people can make CNC designs also in it, which is which is really beautiful. You, you can match it very well with the theme of your uh, bedroom, with the color scheme of your bedroom, as well as with CNC, you can uh, have good patterns. The veneers provide a very decent richness to it as well, if that's the kind of uh, bedroom design that you have been looking at. Apart from that, uh, nowadays we also have uh, glass shutters, which are aluminum glass profile shutters. These are a bit expensive, but they do add a finesse. The glass also provides a lot more scope for creativity. You can use a lot of different materials. Uh, within the glass profile, you, you can like have even pe people are using a lot of different material as well. People are able to use stone as well. Uh, we are able to use glass as well. And obviously these help in bringing out the aesthetics of the entire bedroom. These are the basic types of shutters that can be used. And within these shutters, what you can have is you can have a uh, normal shutter opening, uh, shutters on hinges and drawers or you can have sliding wardrobes. Uh, that is something uh, which we have deeply explored in our uh, Hetec wardrobe uh, accessories videos. Uh, we'll leave a link for that as well. The sliding shutters, the, the sliding wardrobe shutters are basically, uh, you have a sliding system in which you can push the entire one part of the shutter to the other. Uh, looks very majestic. It does have, have some restrictions, some design flaws here and there. But apart from that, uh, is, is, a, is a brilliant addition, uh, adds very well to the aesthetics, uh, it's very popular as well. So you can have a look at that video as well to understand exactly what a sliding shutter uh, is. And uh, within the shutter forms, you can say we have the normal hinge shutters. Uh, there are also a few different types of hinge shutters. 
uh, but broadly uh, that's what we have and then we have the sliding shutters uh, which obviously are a bit more expensive but they do add a grandeur to the entire bedroom so moving on uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the various internal hardwares that go into a wardrobe so the internal hardwares they are a bit too much to discuss but broadly uh, the main hardwares that we actually have are the hinges uh, the drawers and uh, you can say the hanging rod so this is the very very basic hardware uh, wardrobe does not generally have a need for very intricate hardware apart from that you can keep on adding on to it which is a good idea i feel uh, especially in the lighting part uh, people people don't look into the lighting part that much but there are quite a good lighting solutions now available in the market you can have led light strips going all across your uh, wardrobe uh, to illuminate the right accessories and to help you basically which adds a lot of the functionality so lighting is something which one actually needs to uh, must have i would say apart from the basic drawers and the hinges and the, the the basic partitions that we have apart from that we have quite a few small and big accessories nowadays we have tie racks uh, we have garnish tree box for your small jewelries uh, we have even pant uh, pant racks we have so in which you are better able to organize your pants it does not take that much space it's not even that damage the crease of your pants so all these uh, different different hardwares are available to actually suit whatever wardrobe style that you have like whatever clothes that you wear if you do have a lot of accessories if you do have a lot of small jewelries and accessories a clothing style which requires that you know uh, ironing of your clothes remains very prim and proper for most of the time if you are a person which uh, has let's just say a lot of expensive shoes then you don't want it to be crumbled so there are quite a few of these uh, hardware uh, hardware which are available as well as internal designs that we go into to make sure that uh, that your expensive wardrobe the one that thing expresses uh, you know who you are in a way uh, is really well taken care of and does not get damaged does not get lost to when you need to access them <laughs> like every the, the most important part because this this is the part where the durability factor comes in uh, is uh, what material is actually the wardrobe going to be made of so uh, we discussed a similar video for kitchens as well uh, this is going to be a similar uh, point that we'll be taking on what material are you going to make the wardrobe of so generally we suggest that you go for a bwp plywood uh, this is nice this is good uh, most durable i would say will last you easily around 10 to 12 years uh, then you can have your basic plywood which is like not boiling waterproof plywood you can have hdhmr which is high density medium fiber board uh, these are well treated uh, you have it for action tessa you have it for green panel uh, so the, these one will also have a good life span of 7 to 8 years and if maintained well if there is no water damage coming from the walls if there is no dimak coming from the walls uh, and all those stuff then they can easily last you 10 years also so these are the two three top ones which we have which is basically bwe plywood uh, normal plywood hdhmr apart from that a little cost effective ones are generally particle boards uh, nowadays we, are, we do get good particle boards which are somewhat more durable <laughs> than they used to be earlier and in a wardrobe setting because wardrobe is not a very heavy duty uh, functioning uh, item like a kitchen a kitchen you need to cook meals three times a day you are opening drawers shutting drawers uh, taking material out putting material in storing organizing cleaning what not so over here you just need you, you basically just have dry clothes and, and and your wardrobe accessories that need to be taken care of and which is operated maybe twice or thrice or maybe four times a day at max it doesn't require a lot of uh, activity you can say or heavy duty activity uh the even the storage is not exactly uh, extremely that heavy so particle board can also work uh, it's cost effective uh, generally the life in a wardrobe generally comes out to be around 5 years easily uh after that it depends upon the maintenance it can easily go to 8 years if there is not a big problem of water damaging or a heavy usage of the wardrobe so yeah you can one can go for particle board also nowadays we have good particle board designs coming from green panel action tessa a lot a lot of companies coming over here which is nice so these are the basic ones that we recommend in that order a bwp plywood being the most durable you can say and it it does actually sustain a lot of uh, water damage also it does not get spoiled by a lot of water damage that might come from the wall or dimark and all that stuff Uh, is one of the most hardest materials available, but great for carpentry work. 
uh, has a great screw holding capacity so this is how you go apart from that you do have a lot of other materials that people play around with which is like aluminum uh, that is also coming up we have aluminum profile uh, wood rows which are a new thing which is which we guys also do work with people have a wpc which is wood polymer composite board that is also something one can explore but uh, generally this is the this is the ballpark that we go with that i mentioned which is bwe plywood plywood uh, hd hmr and uh, then you can go for particle board wood room is something which uh, generally people have uh, they really don't plan their bedroom as per that they really don't plan uh, they really don't plan their washroom according to it it's generally that comes a bit too much at the end and that's why you will find very awkward spaces or very small spaces given to for the water room most of the time so this is how we go about it and i hope you found this video useful figure out all the basic questions that you might be having regarding you know what water rooms and how to go about it and basic technicalities Uh, regarding it what what to watch out for i hope this was useful to you do share uh, this video do like it do subscribe if you want to get more information of these kinds share it with people who are making their homes they might find it useful